holidays. Holidays, huh? Humbug, that's all I have to say. Spend all that money Christmas time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about this jolly jingle stuff. You got to lift the hood to fix the engine. You got to measure twice, cut once. Mom, dad, kids, and... Okay, you too, Uncle Herb. Gather around and join the party. It's Jolly Jingles. Welcome, welcome to Jolly Jingles. So glad you're here. We're going to have an hour of fun. I can see that. Look at these bright faces. Pretty. This is nice. Good. Well, listen, you know, having worked as an actor in, in Hollywood for so many years doing movies like Airplane 2, let, let's get started. We're going to have for us right now a gentleman that you have seen. You have enjoyed him on many different occasions. He has been in every medium of comedy. He has been on The Late Night Show with David Letterman, The Tonight Show, and is featured in traveling with Johnny Mathis concerts. Gary Muldeer. I make fun of my grandpa, but actually he was pretty successful. He was a veterinarian and a taxidermist. If I were a carpenter, you were a lady, would you have my baby made into a dresser? <laughs> If ever there's a time of year when people want to know what's going on with their favorite stars, it's during the holiday season. Am I right? All the new movies are coming out. Celebrity sightings are all over the place. Lots of celebrity holiday news. Number one, how about this? Sylvester Stallone has come up with a Rocky doll for Christmas. Unfortunately, the Rocky doll punched the Gary Shandling doll, and now the Gary Shandling doll is suing the Rocky doll for 200 million real dollars. Superstar Sharon Stone was dropped from the Christmas release of Oliver Stone's Curse of the Mummy. Oliver was a little bit upset when Sharon came to him and said she thought that Nefertiti should be found in a gourmet bikini in a tanning cube. Bye, Sharon. <laughs> Absolutely. That's all, folks. See you next year from Hollywood. Bye now. Thank you. Well, thanks, friend. More from you later. I call her Sister Cantaloupe. Let me see if I can find her. You know she's nosy, busy body, disruptive, argumentative, always in everybody's business, talking on the telephone out in her yard, and it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> 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 Well, hold on, babies. Y'all say hello to Esther. Esther. Somebody in the back waving at you like you can see them. Crazy. He was my friend. And one day I was trying to get off Blackie, and I, and I said, whoa, Blackie, Blackie got faster. I said, whoa, Blackie, Blackie got faster. I said, whoa, Blackie. Four calling birds, three French heads, two turtle doves, and the partridge in the pear tree. That's what it is. So have a good time. Merry Christmas, everybody. Santa's one big fear. It happens in a flash. His computer screen goes blank. The hard drive does a crash. The sled's now high-tech, too, with radar tracking gear. But if all systems fail, he's still got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So thank you so much. He's been called the most cutting-edge, curse-free comic in the country. Let's welcome the original rebel without a curse, Brad Stein. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> when you're in the... When, when you, you need to be... In the Shit! Boo! <laughs> Big fat flying... Nothing! You blow into it. That's... Election tip, you're not rubber. Music with a capital M. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Salem Baptist Church, Patrick Love and the AL Genride Mass Choir. You're not really going to use this, are you? 